Hi guys, and welcome to my newest Let's Play. This one is Midnight Club Street Racer, as the title will probably say. And this is a really, really cool racing game for the PlayStation 2. And let's see here, make a new file. Twitter files I apparently have. I've beaten this game like two times to I think 100% completion. I'm pretty sure anyways, that was a while back. But let's make a new file. CM um, LCI, the there we go. T T And then let's number it to make it fit the other one. There we go. All we have is a taxi cab. No race cars yet. Take this piece of shit. Yeah, this is my first racing game as a Let's Play so far, so hopefully this goes up pretty good. I've enjoyed this game a lot when I was younger, so I did have a bit of fun recording this. There's some points in the game that get annoying though, I'm telling you that. Not for a while, but in the future. Okay, we gotta follow this green car with the green arrow above him. Careful. Okay. Made it through the semi trucks because they're somehow parked in that garage sideways. Get the damn way. I'm an angry taxi driver. Ow. Stupid New York drivers. There we go, slamming them. You drive okay for a cabbie, meet me back at midnight in Veto, and we'll see if you're good enough to beat me and my homies. Okay, that was our first, not really race, but first opponent, I suppose. And it looks like we're racing him and several other drivers that he claims are his homies, so... The object of this is pretty much just to get through all those yellow beacons that you see on the mini-map there and get to the green icon at the end, which is the end of the race. You have to get through each one of those lights and get to the finish line, which is the green thing, before all the other drivers. And it looks like there's four. There, just the camera view. There we go. Looks like they're being stupid and hugging each other the whole time. Which I didn't do too good in physics, but I'm pretty sure if you have drag on an object, it will slow down, so... Okay, enough physics, let's pass him. Looks like he's getting his kick ass kicked by a taxi driver. Bust a wheelie in this thing. Taxi with nitrous and... Suspension and whatnot. Oh, there we go. Kicked your ass. Not bad, else. Oh, yeah, so he reads this part. It looks like he's giving us his cell phone number here. Sut so mentions the champion. And now we have a cell phone icon in which we can call him and we can race him again. 
Or cruise for some action. Pick up girls, whatever. You wanna race? I think we'll call him. You ain't got nothing I'm scared of. Okay, looks like we have another race. Same concept, get through all the yellow lights and get to the green finish point, the finish line. Yes, finish line. I think it was a pretty fun LP to record, to be honest. I really liked this game. Should record another Wii game sometime soon. After Monster Hunter. Okay, this is a one on one race, it looks like. Versus Emilio Sanchez, the guy in the green car. Ah, I'll go for the garbage truck, okay. I've been hit by that garbage truck so many times when I was playing through this game. Ugh. The littlest of crash in this game can cause such a big difference in the race. And there's so many glitches in this game, you have to be really careful. Oh, burnout, there we go. Damn you, you won my car this time, but I got better wheels than that, Holmes. I'm done for tonight. Yo, find me again tomorrow and I won't be so easy for you. Okay, it looks like we won this guy's car. And his car isn't actually as much better as the taxi cab, to be honest. It's a little faster, but that's about it. Because as you can see, we just kicked his ass two times in a row with driving a taxi, so he's not that good. Like he said, though, he does have better cars, though. I've often liked games that do the auto save, it's nice. You don't have to worry about anything. Look, we got his car now, a Crucero. Crucero Bueno. I'm, I'm, I don't know any other language other than English, but I'm gonna say Emilio is Italian. I, I think so. For some reason, that strikes me as Italian. Either Italian or Spanish, one of the two. Okay, it looks like we're back in New York City. For all the superhero movies, they always ended up getting destroyed and whatnot, like the Hulk and Spider-Man. I think the Hulk was in New York anyways. Sure, Hulk, Spider-Man, X-Men. And, yeah. Okay, it looks like we have two more opponents aside from Emilio. There is Larry, the guy in the green truck, and then there is Kiko, the chick in the orange car. And I believe this is a Emilio that we are following. If you look on the minimap on the bottom left, it shows where all their locations, as with myself, are. I'm the blue arrow, and each one of them is a red arrow. And my car is already losing a bumper, so... Yes, Emilio's car is crappy. Even though every car in this game can lose bumpers like crazy, but... That's Emilio's second car, the purple one. It's a bit nicer than this one. It's, it's still not that fast and nothing to scream hell about, but it's better than this car, so... If you want as good as a car at the beginning of the game as you possibly can. So, we have to follow him and his icon will turn green when he is somewhat interested in racing us. Damn it, drive, let's go. I'm like right behind him. Oh. Freaking FedEx truck. I call them mid-X trucks in this game though to avoid copyright infringement. Rockstar games. Okay. Keep following him while he drives like an old lady. 
Now I lost a tail light. There we go. Right on the mount. Driving a pimp mobile, it looks like. Like in Austin Powers, the pimp mobile and gold member. I like that car. This car, the car that he's driving, kind of reminds me of that. Kind of. Yes, we are right behind him. As long as he doesn't do anything funny, I think we have him. Ah, damn it, get out of the way. Looks like that was Larry that just drove in front of him there. He cut him off. Um, past that clown. Damn, how far was he planning on driving? He drove across like, the whole city. Oh, looks okay. Oh, please stopping. Yes, he kids now, but Emilio is not that challenging of a driving opponent. And most of the time, these these lights are really in obscure patterns, kind of like that. It's kind of strange, but it's actually not that hard of a race. Like, the lights make it look a lot harder than what it really is. But this is our second race versus Emilio, and right now I'm just trolling his ass because he has the easiest cars to obtain, and they may become more helpful later on. And most of the time you do start out at the uh, finish line, so you start at the finish line and you end at the finish line. It's basically one big loop. Okay, it looks like they're driving in two different directions here. And this time he has four other homies or whatever, two, four other drivers helping him. Ah, damn it. Freaking bus. Oh well, they crashed too, so I might still have a chance here. That's what I'm saying, like a smallest little crash, or big crash in that case, will alter the race dramatically. Or drastically, yes, drastically. There you go, do a nice little slide there. Looks like I'm catching up to him. The red arrow is Emilio, the orange arrows are his henchmen. Or, yeah, henchmen. Oh god, the police. The police are so annoying in this game. Try to run you off the road and stuff, it's so annoying. They can't like pull you over or like charge money or anything, but they're just annoying because they try to run you off the road and it really screws up the race. But luckily they go for them too, so it's not completely rigged that way. Like see, they're right on Amelia where they were. By the way. Freaking blue guy. Oh crap, looks like, wait, can I pull through this? No, that guy's way too far ahead. Ah, nuts. Restart the race. 